In this video, we're going to explore the world of WordPress and specifically what the differences are between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. Let's start with WordPress.org then. WordPress.org is a free open source software that anyone can download and use for free. With over 11,000 themes available, you can kickstart your website design effortlessly. Plus, there's an extensive range of plugins available made by developers all over the world that help add functionality to your website. This might be things like e-commerce, plugins for SEO. So really with WordPress.org, you can mold it into exactly the website that you need for your business. If you prefer a more intuitive website design experience, there are plugins like Elementor, which offer a drag and drop interface. Elementor allows you to create stunning websites without touching a line of code. Installing WordPress.org on your website is a breeze. Most hosting providers now offer a one-click install, which means you can get going immediately. You can build anything from a simple blog to an e-commerce empire with plugins like WooCommerce. Now let's talk about WordPress.com. WordPress.com is a hosted version of WordPress. It offers convenience for those who prefer a hands-off approach to website management. But here's the catch. WordPress.com does come with a free option, but in my opinion, is very, very restrictive for even the smallest of businesses. In order to get the full functionality you need in a website, you're gonna need to opt for one of their paid plans. Take a look at this table. You can see that the cost for the first year with a creator plan with WordPress.com, the minimum plan I think you need is 300 euros. This doesn't include an email. The cost of your first year with WordPress.org is 33.88 if you use SiteGround for your hosting. This is an introductory offer for your first year, so subsequent years will be 181.88. You do get a free email with it. You can see that the WordPress.org option is significantly cheaper than the WordPress.com creator plan and this is the plan that I think you should go for in order to get that minimum level of functionality in your website. To sum up, WordPress.org gives you the freedom to control every aspect of your website from design to functionality. Meanwhile, WordPress.com offers convenience but at a cost, especially if you want to unlock more advanced features. So there you go folks, those are the main differences between WordPress.org and WordPress.com. Please let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tips and tricks on navigating the digital world.